So you say Thank if you. enough people use Bitcoin, it could help bring down the dollar. You think that's a real possibility? Well, no, did I, well, am I, I getting what you said little, wrong? Well, I think it's a little bit the other way. When the dollar's on, in trouble, which it will get in trouble, that will be one of the alternatives. And I, I guess it'll be a, a, a play on it. And the more Bitcoins are used, the worse it will be for the dollar. But something happens, has to happen to the dollar. So I think that's where the uh, real problem is. And Mr. Greenspan <laughs> said that he doesn't understand uh, the intrinsic value of a Bitcoin. And quite frankly, I don't either. But I, I, I want to ask him, what about the intrinsic value of a dollar? <laughs> you know, nobody knows what that is. So I, I think it's, a, uh, it's an alternative, just one of the alternatives. And if there's momentum, uh, then people are going to leave and maybe there'll be other electronic monies and there'll be gold. But, uh, you know, we came terribly close to this in, uh, in 1979 when they took interest rates up to 21 percent to save the dollar. And uh, maybe next time uh, it won't be so, uh, so successful. But uh, the dollar has been under attack uh, since the Fed was created in 1913. It's lost 97 percent of, it, of its value. And the end stages of a paper currency always goes very rapidly, although it's been gradual for these hundred years, there is going to be a day right. that I expect that there could be a panic out of the dollar, then the Bitcoin issue is going to be a much bigger issue.